Hey guys, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be filming this video and it is the products which I used up video. I can't remember whether it's number 3 or number 4. It could be either one of them but it is in the title. I have so many stuff here. Oh my god. It's like two boxes filled with stuff and I feel like a hoarder. It's like junk. It's rubbish. So I need to get this video done before I can just get rid of all this stuff. So let's get started. Let's first just get rid of this. Okay, um, over here I have three of the boxes for my cotton pads and they are all from Daiso. This first one is my favourite. The other time I tried to look for it at my at the nearest Daiso from my house and they were out of stock so they only had this one. It also come in like a pack of two like that for two dollars. I don't really like this as much as this one and whenever I see like they have this in Daiso, I will definitely go and grab like about three or four packs and I'll just stock up. I just love the cotton pad from this one because uh, the, pad, the cotton pad itself is thick and it doesn't like have strands of cotton wools coming off as you remove your makeup or apply your toner so I totally recommend this to you guys. I have one, two, three, four, four deodorants and they are majority of them are from Rexona and it is the shower clean one. I really love how uh, fresh this smell and I have three of them and the other one is Dove. This is the whitening unscented one. This one has no scent. Uh, I'm not really a fan of this. I still prefer this one. Speaking of the body product, I have two of my Bulgari Crystalline Amethyst. Amethyst Omnia? Yeah, Crystalline Amethyst I think it's called. So I have two of them over here. It's my signature scent. I love the smell so much. I cannot get enough of this. Another one of my favourite scent is actually this one from uh, Lanvan. And it is also another of my signature scent. I love this so much. As you can see, these two perfumes are over there. I just love it so much. Love the scent. My signature scent. So, yeah, I love them so much. Oh, mama, kau jatuh. Oh, oh, oh. This is the Revlon Color Stay in 310 Warm Golden. I have totally finished this out. I think this is my second bottle that I finished up and it has been my go-to foundation. I love how the how good the coverage is and I really love how great it is for oily skin. I have combination oily and this is like the shade right now in 310 Warm Golden is perfect for my skin tone right now. It used to be very light but now it is just perfect. My all-time favourite mascara, this is the Rocket Volume Express from Maybelline. I love this so much. I also just... I mean if you have watched the rest of my other uh, video which is the product which I've used up, you will definitely see this as well. Okay, another makeup item is this Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liner which is you guys should know by now it is my all-time favorite eyeliner. This is the one in black. Uh, lately I've been using the brown one. This one whenever I have like really bold eye makeup on like right now I will definitely use this. Oh anyway if you guys see that my eye makeup and whatever that I'm wearing and whatever hairstyle that I have on right now is the same as my previous video it's because I have filmed three videos today and it is actually this eye look and it is my giveaway and this video right now because I need to compile all videos together before my exam starts because I will not have a time to film this video. So in case if you want to see how I achieve this look, just tell me and inform me in the comment box down below and I will upload the tutorial. Okay, this is the Kate eyebrow color which I normally use to set my brows. I just love this so much. This is my First or second one? I can't remember. I think this is really my second one. Uh, it just l gives like a little bit of tint to my brows. I prefer using this as opposed to the Gimme Brow because I have never tried using the Gimme Brow before but that one is more expensive and all I need is just to uh, like set my brows and make my brows a little bit more brown. So that's why I really like this. Okay and I also have this Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. I used to use this, it is already done. Uh, right now I'm using the Scandinavia one. Scandinavia and the Urban Decay one is exactly the same. It's just that that one you have to purchase online. Which is this one. It's, I have it over here. This is double the amount of this. So whenever I run out of this and I don't have time to purchase it online, I'll just go to Sephora and get this. This is pretty expensive. I think it's about 50 or 52 dollars. And I think that the Scandinavia one is more, it's so much cheaper plus shipping and all. You can get more than double the amount for 
like a fraction, not a fraction of a price, yeah, sort of a fraction of a price. I cannot talk today, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyway, this costs $50 or $52. If you add on a little bit of money plus shipping, you can get more than double the amount for the Scandinavia one, so. Yeah. And I believe this is my very last makeup stuff and this is from MAC, the Blot Powder in Medium Dark. This has been my go-to powder for my touch-up and I am already out of that. I'm gonna like uh, collect 6 empty MAC pens and I'll just bring it back to MAC so that I can get a lipstick for free. Now let's move on to skincare. Um, the first two items that I see are this Biore facial foam. One is for Acne Clear, whereas the other one is for Deep Detoxify. If I'm not wrong, I got both of them from Joho Baru. They are so much cheaper there. And I have been really liking this one, especially this one. I have not repurchased it because I like the smell. I think it works fine, but I prefer this for my daytime face wash because for nighttime, I actually use another thing which I'm going to talk about later on. Okay, for makeup remover, I have one of the Biore uh, cleansing wipes. Surprisingly, I only have one because right now I have totally used a different item. I still love this product so much. It's so amazing. I love it so much and yeah, but right now I'm using a different stuff. If you want to see a, a, an updated like skincare routine, it will be coming up soon soon okay soon just give me a little bit of time because i really need to film that one so for my eye and lips right i use this biore makeup remover wipe uh not wipes makeup remover solution for my eye and lip uh removal of makeup uh i love this so much this is oil based all you have to do is just shake it up shake it up shake it up Huh? Okay, whatever, okay. Anyway, um, love this. It is able to remove every single trace of makeup like waterproof mascara, waterproof eyeliner, whatsoever and I love it so much. So for toner, this is my all-time favourite toner by Laneige and this is the Power Essential Skin Refiner for combination to oily skin and I believe that they have for other skin types as well since I have combination oily. This has been my love of my life. I've been using this since I think 2010 or 2011. I can't remember but this is so great. It smells great. It works awesome. Love it so much. This is Innisfree Olive Real Eye Cream with, ex with Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil. I remember putting this in my favourites video but oh my god, this is really very rich and it smells nice. It works so well. It hydrates my eyes so awesome but it costs milia seed and like you know oil seeds to appear on the top part of my eyelids and that is just so bad now i have to go back to my facial consultant to get all of this milia seed removed which is a chore because i have to get like sort of like a laser treatment kind of thing but oh my god that aside, I don't know, it just doesn't work for me right now. I am not gonna repurchase this. This is so bad for me, okay, for me. It used to be really good because it really hydrates my eye area, but... Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. I have my Clarisonic brush head over here and this is for sensitive skin. I change up my brush head every 3 to 4 months. And this is the most recent one which I have changed. Right now, I'm using a new one. So yeah. So I have my Oxy 10 as well. This one, um, I kind of, it's actually a pimple medication. But it's just that I apply it on my forehead area to prevent any oil seeds. Like those small bumps appearing. Because I think that this works really well for me. Um, not on like, like acne and pimples. Like you know, those kind of big ones that appears on the cheeks. This one doesn't work. This one, it only works for my bumps on my forehead because it helps to minimize and eventually it will just be gone. Okay, now moving on to this particular brand which so many people have been asking like Dayang, how come your skin has gotten so much fairer now? Like Dayang, I noticed, is it your lighting or is it your skin has gotten so much lighter? Okay, let me just tell you guys, I got to be honest, I think that my skin has gotten lighter and fairer. Even my mom notices that. And it has got to be this particular brand. It's called Pati Ibu Pute by Jana Lawa. And it is actually a Malaysian brand. And to begin, um, this is the ice cream soap in which I only use in a PM. Uh, after I have really like thoroughly removed all of my makeup, I will just use this together with my Clarisonic to remove uh, or to like sort of wash my face. And I really love this. This is a quite kind of a big tub. It has like a spoon kind of thing to for you to scoop up the product and I have totally finished this up 
it smells really really good and fresh so for the day cream also by Jana Lawa or by Pati Ibu Puteh I have two of them this one uh, I don't know what's the difference honestly the packaging it looks different as in this is white and this is pink I don't know what's the difference to be honest but they work really really well I think that the day cream is what contributes to my skin getting fairer yeah I really like this it smells really good the consistency is a little bit thick initially I thought that it's not going to suit my skin because it will just make my skin oily but no, it immediately soaked up into the skin it whitens my skin I've been using this product for about 6 months 6 months already and yeah, not so for the night cream they also have a night cream version and this is night creamy party ibu pote and I have also finished up two of them and this one of course I apply it only at night after I've already like showered washed my face I'll apply this together with some other skincare products which I will be showing you when I film that skincare evening or night skincare routine so anyway for those of you guys who are wondering where i got this jana lawa pati ibu Pute brand right i normally get them whenever i visit uh, joho joho baru um usually i get them from angsana if you like come across any like jamu shop like you know those kind of shops just stop and ask them whether they, they sell pati ibu Pute by jana lawa because in I, I believe that in jb they cost so much cheaper and i think that for one of this it costs about 75 ringgit if I'm not wrong they cost 75 ringgit each um, I have come across a local seller which sells this brand as well but they sell it for about 38 dollars or 40 sing dollars per tub um, if you are left with no choice if you really want to try this product uh, you can go ahead and try to contact that seller if you like frequent Joho Baru you can just go ahead and try to ask any jamu shop it, not necessarily only at Tangsana, it can be anywhere in a shopping center whereby there's Jamu shop. You can just go ahead and ask. Okay, now let's move on to body stuff. This one is Vit Wet Strips with Easy Grip for Dry Skin. Okay, this works well for me, but oh my god, it hurts so bad. Oh, you know, okay, before this, I have never tried waxing before. I tried myself using this. It works really well, but oh my god, it's so painful. <laughs> I cannot tie. It's so painful. I don't know whether I'm ever gonna repurchase this. I should probably just go and get a professional to do my waxing on my legs. I use this on my legs only, okay? So, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, next, I have this uh, hand cream by Sonida, which my cousin got for me when she came back from Korea. Unfortunately, I don't think they have this brand in Singapore. I am so sad I'm really done with this. But I have one more here, so it's okay. It smells so good. I think I have another one which is the red one because I think that my sister and my mom they don't usually use hand cream, but I do, so this is so good. I love the smell, it's so moisturizing, I love it so much. From Bath and Body Works, this is a coconut lime breeze, and I finally, finally finished up with this. Uh, I just love Bath and Body Works shower gel in general. It's so nice, as in the smell, it's so good. You don't need too much of it. It is rather expensive. I believe that this costs about $20 or $22 each. Um, my recommendation is just go and get them while they have sale, like buy three, get one free, or you know, those kind of sale. Um, so this one okay like it's not that bad it smells quite okay but i really love the current one that i'm using right now next also from bath and body works this is warm vanilla sugar fine fragrance mist okay um i have touched on this before uh, i'm already finished okay i'm really i'm left with some but i just can't get to i just can't seem to get the rest out when i spray it so which means I'm done with this. Warm Vanilla Sugar is one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works and I usually use the Fine Fragrance Mist by Bath & Body Works whenever I'm at home because I don't use perfume at home because perfumes are expensive so this one is much cheaper so I just use this at home. And finally for hair, this is Batiste Dry Shampoo in Cherry. I always want to repurchase but I, whenever I go to Watson's, I always forget. I don't know why. I love this so much. It smells so good. It kind of like soaked up, soak up your second day hair. Please wash. I wash my hair every day, okay? It's just that because I only wash my hair at night, 
so that the, the morning after that I when I take a shower I just take a normal shower but I don't wash my hair so normally what I'll do is I will always spray this um, around this part so that it can just soak up any excess oil that it has because I don't like to go out with my hair wet and I really don't like to blow dry my hair I prefer my hair to like you know uh, dry up on its own oh my hair has like highlight here oh okay but this one is from old color and finally shampoo and conditioner this from this is from l'oreal this is the keratin smooth perfecting shampoo and conditioner okay i remember that i've included this in my favorites video at that point of time the first bottle that i use it is so good it makes my my hair like really really soft right now in my shower or in my bathroom i have another set but it just doesn't seem to work as well as this one i do not know why it's just that i think my hair kind of get immune to stuff very fast so after i finish up using one set of shampoo the next one i have to like go and find other brands because the second one usually doesn't work well for me so yeah i don't think i'm gonna repurchase this anytime soon probably like three or four months down the road then i will try to repurchase it once again oh my god that's like a lot of stuff and i am tired this is really my third time third video today that i'm filming okay so i really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video as usual please give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel for more videos from me and i will see you guys in my next video next thursday at 7 a.m bye guys mm -hmm.